the gas find a man is lying for 38 years it is the time of festival in jerusalem the disciples have already gone they are all prepared jesus would have gone day by day he is roaming around preaching healing and he is tired and now he has got one day to go to jerusalem to be with his friends and enjoy but his mind sir disturbed with the people who are lying near that lake because there the broken hearted people the people who are left out in life the sick the paralyzed the blind they lie there means the people who know where to go jesus remembers them for him to do something for such people is greater than going and celebrating a day with his friends so instead of going to jerusalem straight away and enjoying his time with his friends he goes to save those who have fallen enough of time you have entertained yourself entertained others and moving around running around how to make yourself happy how to enjoy yourself stop a time has come check what the sin has taken away from you what the evil has taken away from you god is calling you when jesus is after you this is the perfect time for you to return to god stop playing around stop joking around return to god and hear what he tells you and build up your life on that when jesus came and saw a man lying there for 38 years he's asking son what's happening to you even after struggling for 38 years man never realizes as long as he is his mind is captured with this dirty world he says there is no nobody nobody to come and help me maybe his people got tired and went away there is nobody i am alone even after lying that 38 years he has learned only one thing to blame others for all his problems to blame others and he is blaming god also it seems the water is being shaken and before i enter somebody else is entering what can i do stop blaming you blaming around the world blaming everybody jesus says look at me because the bible says jesus saw the man lying and the day the eyes of the lord fell on him it's the day of grace though that man did not realize that is the truth the eyes of the lord have fallen on you fallen on our nation fallen on the world and this is not for destruction this is for healing this is the time to return to god and experience the power and glory of god as long as you try to walk with your feet even though the lord is blessing you you hear everything you have a type of experience the moment you give up to god you allow the god to take control of you your life is different you see the river jesus said in john 737 if anyone who is thirsty let him come to me i will make him a river i have created you not only to quench your thirst you are created not as a problem as a solution to this problem in the world you have known the lord you have the capacity you have the grace to know the lord why to know him to love him and to serve him and to be empowered by him empowered by the nine fold gifts and fruits of the holy spirit and give to this broken world now where are you lying what are you busy with 
are you also like that man blaming around everybody and still lying there where are you lying where are you lying the place cannot save you you are holding on to the mat because somebody may carry it away otherwise you have nothing the mat also is not going to save you nobody can save you only your god come to realize come to your senses and return to god in the book of luke's gospel chapter 15 verse 17 we read he came to his senses oh who is my father and when the servants of my father have plenty to eat where am i lying with the pigs with the sickness with the brokenness with the fear with worries what's happening to me he came to his sense i will return to my father and i will live jesus saw him and said a word look unto me take up your mat and go on when he obeyed the word he looked unto the lord he obeyed the word and took the very mat that was carrying him till today that's what god will do to you if you look unto him if you hear open your heart you can also sitting at home playing around games playing around movies you can do all kinds of nonsense this is the time to kneel before god as a family this is the time to pray together the word of god it is the time to return to know and taste how good is the lord if this opportunity you miss you are going to miss your life god is calling you and the man turn towards god his eyes gazed on jesus he looked at the eyes of jesus that was looking for him and he his ears heard the word of god and his heart said obey obey oh only this matter i have how can i leave this his heart said enough you obey the lord enough of roaming around enough of playing around enough of trying to hold on to what you were holding on till today he raised up himself and the lord said it's not enough that you walk alone now you carry that you carried you till today god is calling you back to your family do you know why that you should carry your family you should carry those who carried you till today and tell the world what god has done for you if you don't return that is the end of your life maybe this is the last chance for you your riches are not going to help you your influence or political influence is going not going to help you nothing only the lord yes when he obeyed and moved on the problems come on the way just you return to god is not a mere joke you have to walk with the god remembering your past what has happened to you and remembering what is happening to you keep alive don't miss this opportunity there will be many opportunities even now trying to take away your mind away from god to turn back to your old ways to go and drink god is not bringing you to your home to drink all those who drink will perish with the drink this is not the time to drink alcohol it is not the time for gathering around for socializing in your family god is bringing you as a family to kneel before god to pray together to read his word to understand his ways what is the mission of god for you and for your family he has a mission for you you have to do something unique which nobody will do you are the light of the world when that man was carrying the pharisee stopped 
now it is the sabbath day who are you carrying who healed you you can't carry many things will happen many people will try to put you down don't worry you gaze on the lord hear the voice of god understand with your heart and move on to the lord and do what god tells you Thank mm-hmm. you.